Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. In last sessions, we are start learning collections framework and we are continuing the same topic in this video also. What is collection? Why collection is given? When we should use collection? And next, uh, different operations we can perform using collection. And also we discussed uh, some real time examples uh, for collection. And also we got a very good idea on how Amazon.com or Flipkart.com or any what you call online online shopping cart applications or how they are maintaining a concept called cart concept. So uh, the cart concept is uh, maintaining by using a concept called what collection. Okay. So I told you last video where real time examples of collection and a sample code uh, how the project will be using collection. I told you in last video you will be feel somewhat tough by looking at the code and all. So I hope you practiced well and now continuing with the video. Okay. What we discussed in last video let us try to recollect and we will continue with the next video. Okay. Next topic we will continue. Um, in last video I told you collection is used for only one purpose that is storing the objects and carrying all objects as single object using single name. Then uh, a method can have single parameter to receive multiple objects and also a method can have a single return type to uh, return all these objects at a time. That is what the main target and other main target is what uh, fixed number of values uh, restriction should not be there. As many values at the execution time we are getting values or objects those number of values or those number of objects I wanted to store dynamically in that case we should use collection. So, conclusion what we get whenever we wanted to store multiple homogeneous and heterogeneous unique and duplicate objects without size limitation uh, we have to use collection. Okay, that is the point we got conclusion from last uh, few videos. Now, I wanted to continue next topic of collections framework that is we have already array right for storing multiple objects or for storing multiple values we have already what you call array object is already there that is inbuilt in language. When we have already array in the con array concept already there in Java language why Sun Microsystem has given a concept called collections framework or simply we can say why they have given a concept called collection. Okay. Uh, quickly I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, there are so many differences between array and uh, collection at this minute quickly I want you to understand two points. Okay. What is the difference between array and uh, collection? Array is inbuilt in language no need to write any code array is inbuilt in language I wanted to store 10 values of integer values I want to store 10 integer values then straight away you can create int array how can you create int array try to understand int array ia equal to new int array of uh, how many values you want to store that number you have to specify here I want to store 10 values then I am using the data type called int straight away. I am not creating anything here, right? I am not creating any special class for the data type int. Uh, I wanted to store uh, 5 double values. For example, I want to store 5 employee salary values. Then what I should do? Salary means double value, na? right? Double array da equal to new double array of. Now you have to take 5 employees, na? so I written 5. Uh, so, what is the point? I wanted to store okay 10 employees. Okay, let me also take here for con for a easy conversation 5. Uh, now I am taking here 5. I want to store 5 employees, employee numbers, 5 employee, employee numbers. Then I created int array. Employee number is of what type? Int. So int array. I, I wanted to store 5 employees uh, salary values. Then I have created what? Uh, double array uh, with what size? Uh, 5. Huh. Can you tell me I want to store 5 employees mobile numbers, mobile number is a what type long type right mobile number large number not long type then 5 employees I want to store what uh, mobile numbers then can you tell me can you tell me how to create long array l a equal to new long array of what I should write 5. Uh, please try to observe long is a data type for using this data type am I writing any program behind no so straight away I can use the data type called what long 
So, what is the point I told? Array is inbuilt in language. You no need to you no need to create any special class for representing the data type int, double and long. They are already available inbuilt. So, array data type is inbuilt. You no need to do any work. Uh, now, I want to store five employees names, names. Name is what type in Java? String, na? right. So, what I should write? Tell me now. String array, SA equal to new string of what I should write? Five. Then, what is this string, sir? String is a primitive data type or referenced data type? Referenced data type of what? Class. String is a class. Sun Microsystem has already created a class called string. Straight away we are using the class called string. Okay. Now I have a question. I wanted to store. I wanted to store five. Uh, what do you call? Uh, I want to store five students. Five student objects. Very simple here. Play, try to recall it. I want to store five ints int data type. I want to store five doubles double data type. I want to store five. Uh, what you call uh, mobile numbers, long numbers, long data type. Then I want to store five names, string data type. I want to store five, what I asked the question? Uh, five students, student objects. Student is a data type in Java. So in place of string long double int, what I should write? Come on, come on, come on. Student array. Uh, now STA equal to new student, new student of five students. I want to store five. So, what is this student? Is it a predefined class? Is it available in Java language inbuilt? No. What should I do? First of all, I have to create that class. Na? Right? First, you must define a class called student open bracket, closed bracket with some variables and methods and all. First, you have to define this class called student in a Java file called what? Student.java. Then only you are allowed to use this class uh, from here. Otherwise, compiler will throw error here. Why? The class student is not inbuilt in the language. You have to first create the class student and further you are allowed to use here. So, what is the point I am telling? Array is inbuilt in a language you no need to define okay uh, then now the question if you come to a collection collection is not inbuilt it is a class collection is nothing but a class okay some class here class and not uh, representing class it may be a class or may be a interface can be a class or interface not worrying at this level we are worrying about only what is it it is a class it is not array, it is a class. Class means it is not inbuilt. It is not coming as part of language. Language here means what? Compiler software and JVM software. As part of compiler software and JVM software, uh, now we are not going to get collection. Uh, array is coming as part of inbuilt of compiler uh, language means it is a part of compiler software and what? Uh, JVM software. You no need to do any additional work to define the data type int double long. Okay. Mm, but now the collection is what I am telling? Class. Class means what? It is not inbuilt as part of compiler software and as part of JVM software, it is a class. Class means what? API. API means what? You have to define the class explicitly. Here, we means who? Who is defining? Already Sun Microsystem defined. You no need to do work. Now, the question what I am asking come. Uh, now, I have already array object in my Java language for grouping the multiple values for storing. Then, look at here. Here, five int values I stored. Here, five double values I stored. Here, five long values I stored. Here, five string values I stored. Here, five student objects I have stored. Already I have an array object for storing multiple values. And my question is why? My question is why collection API is defined by Sun? Why specially a collection class is defined by Sun Microsystem? That is what my question. So, array is inbuilt in language. Collection is not inbuilt in language. It is a class additionally defined by Sun Microsystem. Uh, very interesting point. Whenever something is defined additionally means uh, existing has some problem or not. Okay. Uh, now, try to recollect, uh, try to go to real life. In real life, in initial days, we have cycle, bicycle. Initially, we have bicycle. Then later, slowly, slowly, people invented motorcycle. Then slowly, people invented car. Then slowly, people invented a bus, train, flight. We have already bicycle. Na? I wanted to move from one place to another place easily. 
without losing much energy then further what is the concept invented people in the real life bicycle then if with the bicycle if you want to go long distance around um, uh, like 10 kilometers 20 kilometers then now we, we are not capable of uh, pushing that uh, pedals and all those things energy is not energy levels are not sufficient so further people has made it as automated okay the bicycle riding made what automated by using motorcycle then uh, motorcycle already automated bicycle bicycle problems are solved bicycle has a problem to solve that what came motorcycle motorcycle is having now the problem that's why what came into picture car bus and everything coming into picture so what is the point you should have an idea whenever something in new came into picture that means what existing concept has some problem uh, to solve that problem new concepts are came now in this particular video now we are trying to understand a topic called what problems of array object and how the problem solution is provided by using collection getting my point right what is the topic we are discussing i have already array object for collecting multiple objects or multiple values and storing and further carrying all these values and all these objects as a single object with a single name from one place to another place from one class method to another class method then why collection is given when you have array already why collection so that means array is having some problem to give the solutions to those problems what came into picture collection let us try to see what are the problems of array okay Okay. we have array already why collection came so array is having totally some problems total it has having four problems what is the four problems let us try to analyze array is having first problem i want to call it as type problem for future to ask you the questions to answer quickly now i am taking the problem names as something like this array is having type problem second array is having size problem third array is having storing order problem storing order problem array is having operations problem array is having operations problem what what this topic uh? array problems array is having four problems what are the four problems type problem size problem storing order problem and operations problem four problems are there to solve these four problems what came into picture collection api came into picture api means what class okay uh, collection classes are came into picture let us try to understand what the meaning of type problem first problem we are understanding type problem type problem means once i created an array object using one data type it will not allow to store different type of values or a different type of objects what does it mean okay array is a homogeneous object it means it will allow us to store only same type of values or same type of objects it doesn't allow us to store different type of values or different type of objects i will give you some examples here please try to concentrate i am creating one array with a data type int int array i a equal to new int array of i have taken the value 7 int array i a equal to new int array of 7 then now tell me here i wanted to store uh, a int value i a of this is array created by using what data type int so i a of uh, now i want to access 0 index equal to uh, now tell me 5 i am storing allowed or not yes 5 is of type what int now int can be stored in int variable no problem uh, now i a of 1 i am trying to store a value called 6 allowed or not yes okay now please try to concentrate i a of 2 equal to i have written something called here single quote a single quote a allowed or not single quote a is what care na? single quote a is what care care a character can be stored in int variable or not yes it can be stored because character is lesser than int range okay character range lesser than int range so it is also allowed then what is stored sir this is single quote a is converted into number it's ascii number 97 and 97 will be stored in i of 2 
So, whenever you create an array with one data type, you can store same type of values, same type of values or it is a lesser range type of values also allowed to store. Then I am writing something like this, please verify i of 3 equal to, I have written something called 7.5, can you tell me allowed or not allowed? 7.5 is a what type? Float, float, float or double? It is not float, please do not confuse, 7.5 is not float, it is double, it is a double type, uh, tell me, a double type range is a greater than int, it is compile time error, compiler will throw error, something called possible loss of precision, okay, 7.5 is highest range not allowed, uh, then now I am commenting since not allowed and again I am writing IA of 4 equal to, uh, look, at, look at here I am writing uh, something called 8L, allowed or not allowed? ATL, L is means what? Long, long cannot be stored, it leads to compile time error, what? Possible loss of precision again. Now, I am expecting you people to understand here, IA of 5 equal to, I am writing boolean value true, allowed or not allowed? Obviously not allowed, compiler will throw error, now it will throw error, incompatible types incompatible types, why? It is a boolean type, never compatible, not of type int. So, what is the point you have to understand here? Uh, array is what? Array is of what type? Uh, uh, homogeneous. Homogeneous means what? It will store only same type of objects or it is a lesser range type of objects. It will not allow highest range or incompatible type of values. If you try, compiler will throw error. So, array is having first problem what? Type problem. Type problem means homogeneous. Then, uh, can you please try to guide me? I wanted to store uh, int value or I want to store care value or I wanted to store double value or I wanted to store long value. Nothing but I wanted to store what? All primitive values. I want to create one array uh, and in that array I want to store all primitive values except what? Uh, boolean. Uh, in that case, what type of array I should create? Can you please try to understand here? Double array DA equal to new double array. Uh, why double array I should create? Uh, tell me, tell me, why I should create double array? Why I should create double array? Double is the highest range data type of all primitive data types. Na? That's why I should create double array. Then, DA of 1 equal to 5. Allowed or not? Yes. Okay, let me take 0. Uh, DA of 1 equal to 6. Allowed or not? Yes. Uh, DA of uh, 2 equal to, uh, now single quote is also allowed or not? Yes. Uh, DA of 3 equal to 7.5. Allowed. Uh, DA of uh, uh, what you call 4 equal to 8L, 8L, is it allowed or not? Yes. Uh, very important, DA of 5 equal to true, allowed or not allowed? Not allowed, compiler throw error because true is a boolean, not allowed to store in double. I hope you are carrying my point. So, very important, what? If I create an array object, it is allow us to store only same type of values. Here, same type of values means either given a data type or its lesser range values are allowed, but highest range and other data type values are not allowed. Compiler software will throw error. That is the point what I am addressing. What? Type problem. What is a type problem? Type problem means array will allow us to store only homogeneous elements. It will not allow us to store different type heterogeneous objects. If you try to store compiler will throw error. That is the point we have understand here. Might be this point uh, some of you might have already learned from uh, what you call C language already you know this point. But in Java language array concept is somewhat different sir. So, that point I have to address in this occasion. Java supports a concept called what? Inheritance. With the inheritance concept, we have something called parent class, child class or you can say super class and subclass or still you can say base class and derived class. Any one of the terminology is comfortable, you can remember. So, Java supports a concept called inheritance. Uh, through inheritance, this type problem can be solved. If you are coming from C language, yes, in C language array has a problem, what type problem, but Java language array type problem if you do not want to get in the program, if you want to solve, yes, you yourself can solve, no need to depend any other predefined API. 
can we see how how the type problem can be solved using inheritance concept we can solve type problem let us try to understand okay yeah primitive data types point of view we understand now i am trying to understand from referenced data type uh, now in the previous uh, slide we have discussed uh, what I wanted to store multiple values or multiple objects. As of now, int array and uh, double array, we discussed multiple value storing, primitive values. Now, I want to understand multiple objects to store. Uh, look at here. I want to store multiple objects. Object, which object? Let me take a student object, student array, SA equal to new student array of 5 I have taken. What is the array type here? I have taken student. Then student means it will allow us to store only student objects. Hey, no, not only student object. Come on, recollect what we discussed. Same type of values or it's a lesser range. Here also student object or it's a lesser range. Lesser range means subclass. Student class objects or it's a subclass objects can be stored here. Uh, come on, try to catch my point. I am writing here SA of 0 equal to it is array object array object now i want to create a student class object either array object or class object both can be created by using new keyword following by which class object you want to create a student uh, what is the difference from student array object and student class object array object ends with a square bracket class object ends with parenthesis round bracket that is the difference. Try to remember this difference. Written test point of view, this uh, difference you have to remember, observe. Uh, new student of bracket of 5, new student of parenthesis. This is a class object, this is array object. Then what is the difference between objects? Memory diagram. Let me quickly write. SA variable is created. Array object will not create memory for non-static variables or instance variables of the class. It will create referenced variables of what type? Student. Array object internally contains variables. Variables of what type? Student class. Student type uh, referenced variables. Uh, they are meant for storing student object references. Then now look at here. SA variable let us say reference is 10, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now 10, 10 store pointing. Please catch my point. Uh, student array SA equal new student of 5. This means it creates array object. Which array object? Uh, student array object. Student is different and student array type is different. Both are not same. Student array object internally contains a referenced variables in continuation location meant for storing student object reference. Then now in this line what happened? SA of 0 equal to new student. Uh, here what happened? Student object is created with reference. Let me take 2020. Uh, internally non-static variables are instance variables there in the class assume student number, student name and what a course. With these three variables memory created, this is not array object, this is student class object and now reference 2020 stored here and it is pointing to it. Very, very important memory diagram. Your entire collection chapter is depending on this memory diagram understanding. So, try to recollect once again. I did in this line I created a student array object in this line I have created a student class object student array object means referenced variables student object means non-static variables memory of this student class can you tell me I wanted to create one more student object I want you to tell the code I want to create one more student object with the same student number student name and course variables Okay, and this reference I want to store in one reference and then pointing to it. This is what object? Student class object. Uh, tell me what happened here. What does line I have to write? I want to store in one location. So, what I should write? SA of 1 equal to. Uh, now, I want to create another student class object. How to write? New student of expecting you to answer. What? Round brackets or square brackets? I am creating an array object or normal class object. Class object na. So, what I should write? New student parenthesis semicolon. Uh, then, if I write SA of 1 equal new student of what happened? Uh, now, student class object created with the three variables with new reference and reference is copied into 1. Catching my point? What we are discussing? We are discussing type problem. What the meaning of type problem? Whatever the data type used to create array object either that class objects or its a subclass objects are allowed to store. Okay, simple common sense. 
I am writing one statement here. Is it allowed or not? Please try to think and tell me. S A of two equal to new employee. A simple common sense question. New employee. S A of two equal to new employee. Hey, employee can be a subclass of student. Employee is a student. Ask a question. Employee is a student. No. Student is different, employee is different. That means, will you create in the project there are super subclasses? No, they are different classes. Student class is different and employee class is different. Am I right? Then now the question is: This employee class object can be stored in SA variable. That means, I have created here background. What happened? Employee object, employee number. Employee name and department variables you take with these three instance variables or non-static variables. Employee class object is created. Employee class object is created. Is this employee class object reference stored in uh, this reference possible or not possible? Think. Employee object is different. Student object is different. There is they are not. There is no super subclass object relation between these two classes. If you try to store Compiler will throw error. New student, student object allowed. New student, student object allowed to store in student array. But employee object not allowed. Compiler will throw error. What error? You know it already. Come and tell me. Incompatible types. Incompatible types error you will get. So employee object you cannot store in this array. So tell me what is the array problem? Array cannot store a different type of Objects. If you try to store a different type of object, compiler will throw error. Once you create an array object with some type, then you are allowed to store same type of objects or its subclass objects. I told you, array in C language, array problem is there type problem. But in Java, we can solve array problem. I told. How can I solve the problem in array by using inheritance? I told. Let me see how can I store. Just try to think an answer. I wanted to store student objects. I want to create one array object. In that array object, I want to store student object, and also I want to store employee object. I want you write a code. I want you write a code. I want to store student object and also employee object in the particular array. How is it possible? Possible or not possible? Possible. How? How? Can you please think? I told you one point. Java supports uh, inheritance through inheritance word. Create an array. In that array, you can store same type of object and its subclasses object. Subclasses object. Ah, can you please try to think? In the place of student, I have taken what employee. If I take employee, what array I created? Employee array. Then what objects are stored? Only employee objects are its subclasses. But I want to store employee and student both. Then can you tell me what array I must create? Student array or employee array? Parent class or both classes? Parent class, na? Who is the parent class? What type of object student and employee? Person. So first of all, what you must do? You must create a class called person. Then from this person class, you must make student as a subclass and also employee as a subclass. I hope you are following person, student, and employee. Then now let us try to catch catch this point. Huh. Then we create our first step. What I created a one parent class for both student and employee called person. What I am trying to do? I am trying to understand the solution to type problem. Yes, Java will provide solution to type problem. No need to use a collection. Without using collection, type problem can be solved by using inheritance concept. How to solve? I am trying to understand. Ah, then now if we want to store both student and employee objects, then I should create what what a type of array? Person array. Come on, create person array. P equal to new person of five. Huh. Then now please try to answer. Person array P equal to new person of five. Then for this, what happened? Background memory diagram is very very important. Without memory diagram, if you try to understand, finally get confusion. Uh, now tell me, P variable created because of person array P. P variable created. Then because of new person of five, what is created? Na array object is created. It is person array object. Uh, inside this person array object, how many locations are created? Five locations. Location means variables. First variable, second variable, 
third variable fourth variable fifth variable 0 1 2 3 4 then reference is assume 10 10 now 10 10 stored here point can you tell me 1 2 3 4 all these five are variables of what type person class person class type referenced variables so once you create a variable what i can store uh, we can store same class objects or it's a subclass objects uh, tell me p of 0 equal to new person of allowed or not yes same class object allowed next p of 1 equal to now new student of allowed or not yes what bracket it is round bracket round bracket means class object now i am writing p of 2 equal to new employee of new employee of uh, allowed or not allowed I hope you are following my point, right? I created array object of what type? Person type. Then I can store same type of object or it's a subclass objects. Then what happened? Person object created with reference 2020 with variables and now the 2020 stored here pointing to it. It is what object? Person class object. Okay, uh, next. Uh, now, next line, student. Student object created with reference 3030. Uh, now, it is a subclass of person. Whenever you create subclass of person, it also include what? Parent class properties. Parent class properties and its own properties. Now, 3030 reference is stored and it is pointing. It is what object? Student class object. Then, next line is what? Employee. Employee class object created. I hope you remember. Employee is a subclass of what? Person. What are the properties there in the person or the property? memory allocated inside employee object plus uh, employee own properties and then finally 40 40 it is a, a what object a employee class object then now 40 40 stored here and it is pointing to it so i want you conclude the point what is that array is having totally four problems what are the four problems Bola, tell me type of problem size problem, uh, storing order problem and what? Operations problem. Type problem means array is homogeneous. It will store same type of objects or it is a subclasses objects. It will not store incompatible objects. That means if I create a person class object, it will store person object or it is a subclass student or it is subclass employee. It will not store a different class objects. Then if I create person and memory diagram is like this. Now the question, I want to raise one more question. Let me try to see how many people will answer. P of 3 equal to, ready na? P of 3 equal to, I am writing your favorite object, new lion object. Lion object, allowed or not allowed? Lion will you create as a subclass of person no line is a different object na line is a different object of what type animal then no p of 4 equal to what new uh, tiger new tiger of hey come on line is not subclass of person then compiler will throw error incompatible types uh, next now p of 4 equal to new tiger again compile time error what is the compile time error again incompatible types uh, then now tell me once again problem is coming what is the problem type problem or the type problem i created object using person and then trying to store different family objects allowed or not allowed not allowed compiler will throw error incompatible types this is a different family what is the animal from the animal we have a subclass word lion and we have a subclass called tiger and we have a subclass called dog your favorite object pet, pet element so like that a number of dogs are there it is a different family objects it is different family object if i create array object of person i can store only person or student or employee if i create animal object i can store animal or lion or tiger or dog both are not allowed but my requirement is i want to store lion tiger dog and also student employee all these five objects i want to store in single array can you give me solution for this problem i want to create a single array and inside that array i want to store any family any type of objects you have solution you have to think you have to give me answer come on think what 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 type i have to take here come on here simple solution First, I have taken student, then I am allowed to store only student objects. And then I have taken employee, then I am allowed to store only employee. I want to store both student and employee, then you have taken what? Parent type person. 
then i want to store only line array i want to store only tiger objects tiger array i want to store dog object dog array i want to store lion or a tiger or a dog objects then what array i should create parent class of all the three what is that animal right uh, now i wanted to store either animal family or person family or any family object any type of object i want to store then you have to get a third then uh, i have to take what here parent class of all these families uh, tell me who is the super class or parent class of all java classes either user defined or predefined uh, you know answer what is that object java dot lang dot o cap letter object uh, tell me if i create a ray it is a subclass and it is a subclass then automatically these five classes also subclass of object if i create a uh, java dot lang dot object class type a ray then it internally creates object type variables then further we can store any class object na then now tell me what is the first problem of array type problem type means what it can store only same type of objects it cannot store a different type of objects uh, in java do you have a solution for this problem yes what is the solution that is none other than java dot lang dot object class type array if you create yes any type of values any type of objects you can store let us try to see one program for this okay now let us me create object array creating object array now object array obj equal to new object array of i am taking 9 nine. 9 nine i want to take ah uh, then now tell here i am writing obj of 0 equal to mm, tell me new student object allowed or not allowed ask a question what i created a array is of what type object type i created array of object type then the obj obj of 0 is a variable of what type object a student is a subclass of object yes then allowed yes then i am writing obj of 1 equal to new employee allowed or not allowed allowed why because employee is subclass of object then obj of 2 equal to new i am writing here lion uh, allowed or not allowed then obj of 3 equal to new tiger allowed why lion is a subclass of object tiger is a subclass of object all four type of objects are allowed to store this is a different family this is different family but still i am allowed to store then now i want one small point obj of 4 equal to i am writing here 5 Five is what type? Int. Five is of type int. With the help of a concept called auto boxing from Java five onwards. If you remember our first video of collections framework, curriculum video, there I told you Java five onwards we have a concept called what? Auto boxing. With the auto boxing concept. we can assign primitive values to what object class variable no problem compiler software background will convert this value 5 this value 5 into integer class object then that integer class object reference will be stored how it is converted into that by using one background statement there is a class called integer already you know integer dot it contain one method called value of this value for whatever return that will go here and placed then value of method background creates integer class object with the value 5 now this 5 is a treated as what object integer so at this minute try to remember the story in our next coming videos we i will discuss more about auto boxing concept so obj of 4 equal to 5 means you assign 5 to int try to understand int i equal to 5 then 5 is of type int int can be stored in int if i assign 5 to referenced variable this is not 5 it is what integer it is of type integer with this knowledge try to answer now obj of 5 equal to i have written 7.5 tell me tell me tell me 7.5 regular type is what small d double small d double double okay now after assigning 7.5 to referenced variable it will become what type capital db class double uh, here also auto boxing is applied this line is changed as what type double dot uh, what the statement value of of 7.5 will come 
okay 7.5 will come okay so background double object will be created no need to much worry here uh, then now i am going to write next statement i hope you can easily understand here onwards obg of 6 equal to i have written single quote a then here again what happened auto boxing applied then can you tell me what is the primitive value char type wrapper class object int integer double double uh, char the wrapper class object is character character dot value of of uh, then what i write single quote a welcome as it is then similarly can i write obj of 7 equal to i am writing here true allowed or not yes auto boxing applied it is converted as what boolean dot value of of true so here auto boxing concept is applied no need to worry uh, now tell me here five can I store yes double can store and character can store and boolean can store so if i create object array then tell me type problem is solved or not yes so background by object array created and all the object references are stored inside and further program will be going on so finally what is the point i want you to understand here we have already uh, array object to store multiple values and send all these multiple values or multiple objects as a single object to other application already when array of concept is there why collection concept is given array object contains some problems to solve the problem collection came how many problems are there in array four problems what are the four problems type of problem size problem and next storing order problem and next what operations problem uh, then now type of problem means what homogeneous elements only allowed to, to store different type of objects heterogeneous objects not allowed to store if you try to store compiler will throw error uh, but in java language we have a concept called inheritance concept with the help of inheritance concept this type of problem can be stored if you want to store a different type of values or different type of objects you must all is create uh, now the highest uh, highest range or highest type of uh, array that is nothing but for all primitive types and a uh, reference type the super class is what object so if i create object class array then the type of problem will be solved automatically without you writing any additional code so now my question collection api or collection class is coming to picture not to, to solve the type of problem very very important not for solving the type of problem if you just wanted to solve the type of problem you create object array in your class it is not the problem of object array nothing but a type of problem it is the problem of what size problem from the beginning of collections framework sessions i am addressing the same problem i wanted to store multiple values or multiple objects without size limitation without size limitation these many number only you have to store no i want to store as as i am coming then i must use what collection i am not much stressing on a type of problem because we can solve the type problem automatically by using object array without using collection but just by using object array you cannot solve a size problem and you cannot solve storing order problem and you cannot store operations problem for that you yourself has to write some additional code or every programmer in the project has to write additional code instead of you and other programmers writing the code what came into picture collection came into picture sun micro system has developed then now it's a time we have to try to understand what is size problem how the size problem can be solved what is a storing order problem and what is operations problem how to solve them we have to understand so before moving on to the next topic size storing and operations i want you first of all have a have a quick idea quick testing on all the points what we discussed in your system okay take a minute and then go to your system Uh, if you have system available with you immediately please try to practice all these things how very simple create a class called test in your program in your in your system create a class test using edit plus or eclipse or whatever inside this create a main method public static void main of string array args uh, now Uh, you create a class called person class called student class called employee empty classes because we are not using anything just empty classes you create with this hierarchy with this hierarchy okay class animal class lion class tiger class dog 
and then uh, now here also create a class person open bracket closed bracket class student open bracket closed bracket class employee open bracket closed bracket create all the six classes i mean to say yeah six or seven classes you create and then create a class test okay and then inside main method whatever i explain int array double array student array employee array next person array then now come to the picture what test class object array try to solve uh, try to test all these points one by one and see in your system you will get definitely the compiled errors incompatible dice problems okay first you have a verification on this and then we will move on to the next topic what size problem in next video okay in next video i'm going to explain you about how, what is the size problem with array how to solve that size problem okay next video is nothing but custom collection development collection api came into picture what size problem to solve what is the size problem and how to develop custom collection that we are trying to understand next coming videos okay so please have a good idea on this this idea on memory diagram what i have shown is important revise once again okay so subscribe to our channel and follow naresh it channel for more videos on collections framework and other important topics okay thank you